my last lecture and this is where we have left with uh, when the food enters into the wind uh, the food pipe that food pipe is called as esophagus and esophagus is like uh, the esophagus is uh, like uh, the pipe of food in which the the walls of the pipe actually move in a wave like motion there was a there is a wave like motion in the walls of our food pipe it's so synchronized so fast that it just sent the food like right away into the stomach agar main isko aasani se aapko samjhane ke liye batane ki koshish karu imagine a, a pipe a, a rubber pipe some sort of pipe like of the food pipe we have and the bolus is over there you know bolus the ball the ball of food is there so the muscles present below the ball of food below the bolus those muscles expanded and the and the muscles present alongside the bolus they got contracted so as a result the bolus moves one step ahead then the story reverse the one who contracted is now relaxing the other who relaxed now contracted it pushed the bolus to the next and then to the next and then to the next and it hap it happens very fast so that type of synchronized wave like movement is called as peristalsis and that send the food to the stomach so the opening of the stomach like here here the opening of the stomach is like is is collapsed to the stomach is collapsed like this and after that there is a balloon stomach balloon after that you need to imagine the stomach always stays like this it always stays like in a collapsed state stomach aisa hota hai wo contracted form hai jaise aap jaise koi balloon hai when you put something inside the balloon like water or air or you try to put your stuff in the balloon what happens it actually expanded so in the same way when bolus enters into the stomach it get expanded the walls of the stomach it contains smooth muscles if you can recall the smooth muscles are the one which can contract and relax once the food is there it start contracting and relaxing and that contraction and relaxation gives the mechanical digestion mechanical digestion mean it gives the physical breakdown of the food the walls of the stomach the internal walls of the stomach it contains um, uh, glands and those are called, uh, gastric glands and the gastric glands produce a solution a mixture that mixture contains enzyme called pepsin a very famous enzyme pepsin and yahi se pepsin shayad pepsin yahi se aaya so pepsin and then it produces acl and other things and one more chemical it produces one more chemical and that is very important the job of the pepsin is to destroy or break down not destroy is not a good word जॉब डिस्ट्रॉय होता है जैसे अगर आपने घर गिराना तो आप बड़े लोगों से चला दें उसको दिस इज डिस्ट्रॉय अगर आप मजदूर लगा दें वो एक एक गेंट निकाल लें उसमें से दिस इज नॉट डिस्ट्रक्शन दिस इज ब्रेक डाउन इन अ मोर कंट्रोल्ड वे सो हम ये करते हैं हम प्रोटीन के सो के टुकड़े टुकड़े कर देते हैं अलग अलग सो द पैप्सिन द जॉब ऑफ द पैप्सिन इज टू ब्रेक डाउन द प्रोटीन इन टू अमीनो एसिड्स आप जानते हैं वन प्रोटीन ब्रेक डाउन इट प्रोड्यूस अमीनो एसिड्स एंड देन वी अब्जॉर्व दोस अमीनो एसिड्स आफ्टर दैट एंड देन for that to create our own types of proteins in our body for our own purpose but the the digestion of protein the digestion of meat is very difficult i mean you need to imagine a, 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 a you know a chop of flesh uh meat ek meat ka tukda jo hai you have to just consume it chemically so it requires a very strong acid it requires the action of the pepsin but you might have a question at this time here right now the pepsin is a protein digesting enzyme our stomach is made up of protein as well so the pepsin which is produced within the stomach it might eat our own stomach as well so it can eat our own stomach because it can you know it's a protein digesting enzyme and our stomach is also made up of protein so we we need something which can protect our stomach from the actions of the gastric juice from the action of the chemicals produced by the stomach and then there is a layer 
uh, uh, there is a, is a, a chemical which creates a layer. Just paint कर देते हैं ना, it creates a layer right inside our skin. But of course that layer is not stable due to the action of the of uh, the, the the stomach due to the function of the stomach that layer get depleted and depleted over the period of time. But it is replaced and replaced over uh, over the period of time as well. So the gastric juice not only produce pepsin, not only produce the ACL, but also a chemical which covers the internal lining of the stomach, which protects the stomach from the from the strong action of the acids, as well as from the pepsin. Now imagine if something bad happens to that layer, if that that chemical is not produced enough, if there is something a little scar left inside the stomach, that layer stays there. But 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 what will happen? Then the stomach or the pepsin will start eating the stomach, start destroying the stomach, and that is really really painful. And this disease is called as ulcer. It's a stomach ulcer, I think. It's quite painful. And then Allah na karay, I mean, if you listen, or like, if you know someone with a stomach ulcer, the doctor suggests do not eat proteins because if protein is there, the, the more gastric juice will be there, the more acid will be there, so that will going to affect more to the stomach. But if the carbohydrate is there, so that can be passed through the stomach more easily. So if the food contains more protein, that means it will going to stay in the stomach longer as compared to the other, because it, it, it requires a lot of action. One more difficult thing you might you might ask here, Zubri, nee, but just for your wonder, the cells which are producing pepsin, they might get damaged as well. Pepsin कहीं ना कहीं तो बनेगा ना? तो जहां बनेगा वहां भी वहां के सेल्स को तोड़ सकता है दे कैन डिस्ट्रॉय द प्रोटीन्स ओवर देयर सो नेचर वाज वेरी स्मार्ट इन क्रिएटिंग सच केमिकल्स बट द नेचर वाज डूइंग विद अस इज डूइंग विद अस इज दैट इट प्रोड्यूसेस द पेप्सिन इन एन इनएक्टिवेटेड फॉर्म प्रोड्यूसेस द पेप्सिन इन एन इनएक्टिवेटेड फॉर्म दैट कॉल्ड पेप्सिनोजन सो दैट इट शुड नॉट डिस्ट्रॉय एनीथिंग सो इट इज लाइक अ गन और अ सोर्ड वाज क्रिएटेड बट विद अ प्रोटेक्टिव लेयर it is transported to the stomach so that the vessels through which it is passing it should not hurt those vessels and then eventually it landed in the stomach once it is there into the stomach because of the presence of the acl that acl actually remove the covering of the sore thus acid convert the pepsinogen the inactivated version into an active form and then it start eating the proteins so all the protein present in the food is digested where in the stomach is doing two two things mechanical digestion as well as the chemical digestion so after the action <clears throat> the food is then you know sent to the next part of the digestive system at this time the food was like a semi solid type of stuff it is called kim some people pronounce it as chyme c h y m e some the semi solid type of stuff this semi solid liquid it do not contains proteins because the proteins are now quite uh, degraded or quite uh, bro broken down into simpler polypeptides as well as into simpler amino acids now the food enters into the next part and the next part is the small intestine you might remember there are two types of intestines the small intestine and the large intestine the small intestine itself which is the first part from this starts from here and you can see it it starts from here and then it's a long intestine here very very long very 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 long folds so many folds out there very very long bahut lambi intestine hota hai people use it uh, animals mein aapne dekha hoga wo qurbani ke din to khaas upar samajh aati hai those intestines it feed was quite uh, famous part of the food uh, animals ki uh, jo intestines hoti hain people use it to make uh, Uh, lot of different type of dishes. They actually fill the meat and the other material in the intestine and then cook it. हम लोग तो नहीं इसको पसंद करते हैं हम लोग नहीं खाते हैं इसको फेंक देते हैं. But it was quite uh, a very famous dish. लोग इसको export कर देते हैं. वो जो लोग कट्टे नहीं करते हैं आगे घरों से या 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 वो कट्टे वो से पैसे देते हैं इस चीज़ के. Because it can be uh, used, can be exported. But anyway, so the intestine is quite long. It has three parts. you are not supposed to remember the name of those three parts but uh, this i'm just telling you duodenum and then and jejunum and then ileum so you're not supposed to remember these parts you just need to remember that there are three 
segments or stages within the small intestine. Small intestine is the place where the supportive organs of the digestive system start doing things. What are the supportive organs? There are two organs which are supporting the digestion. Although those organs are doing other things as well. The one is the liver. Liver is contributing in the digestion. The other is the pancreas. The job of the pancreas is to produce insulin to regulate the metabolism of uh, the carbohydrates. But at the same time, the pancreas is producing another chemical called pancreatic juice. That pancreatic juice brings uh, comes into the small intestine through with the help of a small vessel. That vessel is called as pancreatic duct. I don't know. I am able to see something here, but the pancreas is somewhere here. Okay, is this something somewhere here? The pancreas is. Oh, you can't see this. The mouse. Oh, I'm sorry. The pancreas is somewhere here. Okay, and it is connected with the small intestine. With the help of a small vessel called pancreatic duct, it brings the chemical from the pancreas. Those chemical contain enzymes, lipase, amylase, and trypsin. Those chemicals are responsible for the digestion of the major ingredients of the food. They are responsible for the digestion of proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. Lipase is responsible for the digestion of fats. Amylase is responsible for the digestion. Of carbohydrates and trypsin is responsible for the digestion of proteins. Proteins are already somehow digested in the stomach, but this is like for the remaining proteins. So it is very important to have uh, like uh, a normal functioning of the pancreas because that will going to uh, give the complete digestion. It actually conclude the digestion everything. So chemicals produced from the from the from the pancreas entered into the first part of the from the small intestine. Mix with the kim and then start digesting the, the things present. So the digestion of fats and carbohydrates and the proteins are actually completed in the first part of the small intestine. Protein needs an extraordinary uh, process, so that is why a stomach is there. But if the animal is not eating a uh, lot of protein, like not eating a lot of meat, so th those animals don't need a, a stomach like this. So they actually use their stomach for 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 storage as a storage material as well, like uh, cows, like goats, and most of the herbivore animals. Whatever they are eating, they're actually they are uh, when they are in wild, they need to eat a lot because uh, they don't know they will be able to get the food again soon or not. Or also and also, they need to keep themselves safe from the predators as well. So whenever they get a chance, they need to eat a lot. So it is like putting the things. It's not like eating. It is like putting the food inside the body. It's like we don't do mazak. We don't eat. Some people keep food. Some people eat. Some people say. Some people food. Some Some people they do. So those who have cows, sheep, goats, Arabic words, they usually eat. When they eat, they they put the things into the stomach. They use their stomach for that purpose. The stomach is so big. वो जो हम फेंक देते हैं ना बड़ी ईद के ऊपर आपने देखा होगा कुर्बानी के टाइम सड़कों पे बाहर जो होता है तो बड़ा सा जिसको ओजरी कहते हैं बट बिग थिंग दैट इज लाइक अ एक्सपेंडेड वर्जन ऑफ स्टमक एंड दैट इज यूज्ड टू स्टोर द फूड उस वक्त वो डाइजेस्ट नहीं करते वो जस्ट रखी जाते हैं रखी जाते हैं रखी जाते एंड इन द एंड आफ्टर दैट लाइक फॉर द नेक्स्ट फ्यू आवर्स दे एक्चुअली यूज द पेरिस्टल्टिक मोमेंट टू ब्रिंग द फूड बैक फ्रॉम द स्टमक टू द माउथ एंड देन दे Crazy. Right? It looks very yucky, but still, they, they, you can see their mouth. They are actually chewing something. So, banda sojda ye ye bhans paagala khadi khadi chew kari jari. It is actually using and grinding the food once again and keep sending it back. So that is how they they use this. But uh, this is the job. The other thing is quite uh, uh, interesting, and that is like, uh, oh, ye lene ma ra kon? Thank you. The other thing is the liver. Okay, thank you. So the next thing is that that uh, the liver, this one, the liver. It has a wonderful, wonderful job in your body for metabolism of uh, the food. Oh, sorry, for the metabolism of blood. Both complicated काम करता है. लेकिन इस वक्त this time we are not studying about the complicated function of uh, the liver. 
you can see there is something here there is something here you can see here this uh, small little uh, loop like structure green color structure this is called the gall bladder this thing is called as the gall bladder stomach produces one chemical called bile and that chemical is stored in this thing this is called this thing is called as the gall bladder and then from here a small duct takes the the juice and then drop it into the intestine as well so pancreas is sending chemicals the liver is sending but liver is producing chemical and that chemical is called as bile and that chemical is not directly sent into the digestive system it is actually stored in a in a chamber and that chamber is called as gall bladder liver produces that chemical. the reason why it is required to be stored in this chamber that is very interesting because you are not eating every time digestion is not required to execute every time so the, the expensive chemical called bile that might be wasted if you are not eating if it is dropped into the intestine it will go out to your body it might be wasted so it is better to store and wait for the food to come to the intestine the job of the chemical present in the bile bile is a chemical produced by the liver stored in a chamber called gall bladder pitta urdu mein kehte hain pitta the job is to store that chemical and then whenever the food is there in the intestine that chemical is then sent or thrown into the intestine the job of this chemical is to help in the process of the digestion of fats remember it's not easy to deal with the fats because they are insoluble in water the fats molecules are not easy to digest so we need a proper support from some external um, uh, chemical so the fat digesting enzymes can work better the fat digesting enzymes are coming from where they are coming from the pancreas and they will work perfectly if they get the support from the bile the bile will actually emulsify will actually help and create an environment where the fats can be destroyed can be break can can be digested easily and you might remember ji ab aapko sawal to nahi aa sakta ha well and it's a very important support ha acha bas is a good point ye bataana laga hu ki aapne suna hoga there are some people jinke pitte mein pathri hoti hai there is some problem in the uh, they accumulated some stones over there doctors kehte hain ki yaar ye garbad kar raha hai they are blocking everything so they actually remove the pitta now now what is happening right now is that whatever the chemicals means bile produced by the liver is now directly thrown into the intestine sometimes they just remove the remove the duct as well in that case no bile if if there is no support from the bile there is no support from the liver but what that mean that means that that person might not be able to digest the fats comfortably and then that person will have to stay on the food which is primarily from proteins or from the carbohydrates because it is not possible for that person to digest comfortably the certain type of fats sometimes they do remove the pitta and the gall bladder but they keep uh, the, the 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 bile duct survives so in that case whatever the liver is producing it is directly thrown into the intestine and that is not also a normal situation because if the food is not there the bile will be wasted and if the food is there and bile is not enough that is also not going to work efficiently so those people who are having trouble with their bile and with their gall bladder that means these people will not going to have a comfortable digestion of fats so is rok mein unko hame ye batana chahiye doctors batate hain ki what type of food they should have so that they can comfortably um, uh, survive with whatever the food they can take but at the end of the day during the uh, the food is converted into the fragments what are the fragments means proteins into amino acids carbohydrates into sugars and then fats into fatty acids and glycerols and this happens at the end of the last part of the intestine called ileum so at the last part of the intestine what happens the food is now converted into digestive products and we need to absorb it so the inner lining of the intestine here it contains finger like projections 
those finger like projections are called as villi plural is villus so my god why not so in the last part of uh, the intestine in the last part of the intestine we observe uh the finger like projections so like, like imagine the food is going and traveling this food is now digested this contains uh, amino acids fatty acids sugars when that food travels into the intestine the inner side of the intestine has finger like projections so the food actually collides with those finger like projections and then it is difficult for the food to pass jaise ki kisi nali ke andar bahut sare aap finger like projections create karte to usme se material ko guzarne mein trouble hoti those finger like projections contains blood capillaries uske andar khoon ki naliyan they contains blood capillaries so when the food collides with those finger like particles when when food collides with those finger like uh, finger like projections the material actually absorb into the blood so the job of uh, absorbing the digestive food products is uh, executed by the villus it contains blood capillaries and when food collide with those finger like projections it absorbs amino acids as well as fatty acids as well as sugars and then the food enters into the blood and from the blood it goes to the liver i can tell you and then to the heart and then from the heart it is distributed to all parts of the body but whatever the food which is not digested here it enters into the next part whatever the food which is not digested here it enters into the next part and that net, next part is called as the large intestine so you can assume this is like uh, the end of the small intestine here it touches it joins with the large intestine so whatever the material here is now not useful it is the, it contains unwanted waste products undigestible food material and the, and it also have the, the smell so whatever the things which are dropping into the large intestine it mainly contains undigested food salts water this made of block and still it's 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 liquid at that stage when where the small and large intestine connects with each other there exists a small finger like projection this small finger like projection is called as uh, appendix the job there was a, in earlier time a, a evolutionary perspective in other animals this finger like projection or appendix serves one purpose it produces cellulose which is required to digest the cellulose in the food since we are not dependent on cellulose anymore we are cooking we are eating meats we are we are, we are taking food from other sources but the goats and the, and the buffaloes and the cows and the herbivore animals they are only dependent on the on the green material green leaves and plants so they need to find a way how to digest the cellulose present there so it produces cellulose which help those animals to digest the cellulose as well but we don't need it anymore so over the period of like many many years this is like a waste type of stuff present in our bodies it is a, a waste projection present in the intestine sometimes it happens a food particle gets stuck into the appendix and if a food particle gets stuck into the stomach uh, into the intestine the, because of the immune reaction lot of infection is accumulated at that place it try to get rid of that thing but it was stuck so infection uh, 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 started uh, occurring at that place so the doctor then after that he said that we need to remove that appendix because it is um, you know stuck with the food and that will going to be create a lot of infection over there okay then fat bhi jayegi it might burst and it can cause a lot of pain as well so this is the time when doctor used to go for a surgery and it's a quite safe surgery because that organ is not required anymore so doctors can intervene and then can cut and remove that small finger like protection bahut sare log isko acche se karte hain but there are some people i don't know agree i wish bahut sare log aise nahi hain acche log log jata hain but it's a safe experiment safe surgery acche paise mil jate hain 
विदाउट एनी प्रॉब्लम अगर पेट में दर्द हो रही है तो अपेंडिक्स है एंड देन गो एंड गो फॉर सर्जरी कोई चक्कर नहीं है कुछ भी नहीं करना पड़ेगा एंड यू टू पीपल कैन अर्न लाइक फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी थाउजेंड विज आउट ऑफ इट सो दस आई विश की पीपल शुड बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट इन देयर ओपिनियन वेदर इट इज रिक्वायर्ड और नॉट बट आपने सुना होगा कुछ लोगों की जानबूझ के रिमूव कर दी जाती है उसको ऑप्शनल सर्जरी कहते हैं इट यू कैन रिमूव इट ऑप्शनली अगर आप ऐसी सर्विस में है जहां पर हम रिस्क नहीं ले सकते आपका आप एक फाइटर पायलट हैं किसी भी टाइम के ऊपर आपकी जरूरत पड़ सकती है वी कांट टेक रिस्क कि भी आपको अपेंडिक्स हो गया कि किस टाइम क्या करें सो so, इसमें ऑप्शनल सर्जरी अगर डॉक्टर को लगता है कि दिस अपेंडिक्स विल गोइंग टू अफेक्ट द पर्सन इज नॉट वर्किंग डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम इज नॉट वर्किंग नॉर्मली सो वी शुड रिमूव द अपेंडिक्स इट माइट हेल्प ऑप्शनल सर्जरी बट इन एक्सट्रीम केसेस द फूड पार्टिकल इज टाइप ओवर देयर इट कॉज्ड लॉट ऑफ पेन द पर्सन विल हैव टू गो फॉर 